everybody and welcome back to Google Drive in under five. Today we're going to be taking a look at Gmail and we're going to be looking in the settings panel and we're going to be looking at Gmail Labs. Now the Gmail Labs can be found over here under our gear and then under settings and then far to the right here we have Labs. Now Labs is a testing ground where people can design different programs or functions for Gmail and then they can stick them in here and people can test them and try them out. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're beta testing or alpha testing, just means that these are some things that Google has not yet officially adopted as being fully functional Gmail things. I want to showcase with you a few things that I use in my personal Gmail and why you should think about using them too. The first one that I want to do is called canned responses. And if I enable canned responses right here, you can see this is to help you send emails. And perhaps you're sending the same email many, many times a day or many, many times in a week. This will help auto create an email. I'm going to enable this and I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to compose an email and all I'm going to do right here is I'm going to delete my signature. And I'm going to start to type an email. This might be the same email that I write to everybody that I am looking at having a meeting with. Here we have our email. In order to make this a canned response, I'm going to click on the More Options triangle, go to Canned Response, and then click on New Canned Response. I'm going to name it, and I'm going to hit OK. Now. I'm going to delete this email message and now I'm going to come back and I'm going to compose a new one. I have my email signature here, but in order to use one of the canned responses, I'm going to come back over to the more options triangle, click on canned responses. And this looks a little different here. I can insert the meeting request. I can save a new one or I can delete this particular canned response. I'm going to insert the one that we have. Here's our canned responses. You can notice now why when we wrote it out originally, we took away the email signature because it stays here. Now I can name my recipients and now I have my canned response. Another setting in Gmail Labs you might want to enable is the Google Calendar Gadget. I'm going to click on the enable and then I'm going to save changes. And you'll notice right here on the left, we have three dots, otherwise known as the snowman on the ground. I'm going to click on these three dots and up pops my Google Calendar. We can see what's happening today. We can add to our Google Calendar or also we've got options to show the mini calendar, show past events or open up Google Calendar. The last feature of Gmail Labs we're going to take a look at is probably my favorite and most important one of all. We're going to click on unread messages icon. This absolutely is one of the most important Google Labs that you can import for yourself. I'm going to enable this and hit save changes. You'll notice that the entire window refreshes and right up here on the left under the tab, I now have my Gmail icon with the number zero. This is going to show me how many unread emails I have on my browser. And the neat part about this is if I hit right click and I hit pin tab, it shrinks down to where I still have the icon and the number of unread messages. This saves me a lot of time because I no more have to go into Gmail to check to see if I have an unread message. It automatically alerts me every single time. So there's three different settings, three different Gmail labs, and this is Google Drive in under five. Mm -hmm.